next guest, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, has suggested the 3 I atlas is actually some type of alien technology sent here from another solar system. And he's come on the show before to lay out the scientific reasoning behind that startling hypothesis. Well, this weekend he made headlines again when he said that the object could actually be on a mission to release, quote, mini probes that could invade Earth. Avi Loeb joins us now. He's head of the Galileo Project, director of Harvard University's Institute for Theory and Computation, also the best-selling author of the book, Extraterrestrial. Okay, I'll bite. What are these mini probes you're talking about, and how would this even be possible? Well, there are two possibilities. If it's a technological object, then it might maneuver uh, itself. Uh, we haven't seen such a maneuver so far. But the other possibility is that it may release some other objects that reach uh, the planets and it will continue along its course to the next star. And uh, we just need to keep our eyes on the ball, the way that uh, basketball coaches often say to their team members, uh, because uh, we don't know, but it may well be just uh, a rock uh, which has some ice on the surface that evaporates, uh, in which case we will say it's natural. You know, I defined a new scale uh, last month that is now called the Loeb scale, where zero is a natural object and 10 is a technological object. And at this point, uh, I give it uh, around a four. But if it looks like a comet as it comes closer to the sun, I'll reduce the rank uh, closer to zero. Well, four is not 10. So it's actually, you think there's more of a shot that it really is actually just a comet? Yeah, the, the reason was that uh, the uh, inferred size of the object was huge. It was between 20 and 46 kilometers unless there is a dense cloud of dust around it that is scattering sunlight. Uh, this is an object, if that is the size of it, that is a million times big, uh, more massive than the previous interstellar objects we've seen, and that's quite unlikely. There is not enough material in interstellar space so to bring size, such a huge object. So with size, the fact that it's an unusually large is what's making you doubt that it may, that, or at least be open to the possibility that it's not just a comet? That's one aspect. And the second is that the trajectory is aligned with the plane of the planets around the sun. Now, we will get a good image of it when it comes close to Mars on October 3rd. We don't need to wait a lot. And there is a camera called HiRISE on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that can image it with a pixel resolution of 30 kilometers. So we should be able to tell how much light is reflected off the object and from that infer its size. And I very much look forward to that. You know, the fun of doing science is that we are guided by evidence and not prejudice. Uh, Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna is asking NASA to monitor 3I Atlas um, and to send an orbital spacecraft even closer to it as it passes. That would give, what are the chances that NASA will agree to do that? Because that would certainly give us even more data, right? Even more images. Yeah, this uh, came because she actually uh, spoke with me on the phone and I mentioned oh, so the paper. so you put her which, up to it. Yeah, and I suggested uh, doing that. NASA has a number of facilities that it can use in space to get us more data. And uh, she did send a formal letter to Sean Duffy, the interim administrator of NASA. Uh, we are very much uh, in line uh, in terms of the way we think about this object and about the UAP that, uh, in fact, uh, 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 Representative Luna is the chair of the mm. task force that so, tomorrow will host a, a, a hearing. So did NASA agree to do this? Have you heard any word? Because time is short, right? This thing is going to be here pretty soon. Yeah, uh, well, I spoke with um, the, the principal investigator of several of the missions, and definitely when the object comes close to Mars, the high-rise camera will be used, and okay. several other observatories will look at it. So I'm very much hopeful. I look forward to the data. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.